Hi, uh, my name is Flynn, and you're inside your head right now having a minor panic attack. This is my associate, Lynn. Hi, I'm Lynn. I'm an intern here. It's really an honor to meet you. What? We manage and process all the memories all you've made over the years. Yeah. <laughs> what? This, no, that's, that's not possible. We, Nothing like this has ever happened before, but we did find this manual that's been a, a real help guiding us along. Apparently we need you for our next step. It says here that you have some issues with anxiety, quote, end quote. Look, Adam, your, your records of Emily are incomplete. A file has gone missing, and we, well, you, can't operate without it. Huge issue. Emily? So do something about it. What, what are you doing? Look, Adam, you're fantasizing about her right now. <laughs> and what's happened is a critical file has found its way into the fantasy. The next step is called fine printing. We need to send you into the fantasy in order to retrieve the file. Why me? Why, why can't you just do it yourselves? Uh, we, we don't have access to your fantasies. Why not? Well, uh, get super philosophical, you know. It, it's not important. What is important is that we fix this before it's too late, and we're running out of time, Adam. Yes, he said he'll do it. No! The last time we saw the Van Trapp children, they were trekking through the Alps, escaping the Nazi invasion. What we didn't see is the tragedy that befell the Von Trapps just moments after their miraculous escape. Liesel never quite recovered from Rolf's betrayal. She died of a broken heart and acute dehydration from spells of uncontrollable crying. Little Gretel, young and delicate, could not face harsh mountain life. She fell into delirious fantasies that whisked her from reality. Imagining herself a mermaid, she plunged into a river and drowned. Marta tried to save her, but was too late. Marta's parents never forgave her and labeled her a witch due to her blunder and her affinity for hats. She was shunned by the Von Trapps and joined a band of blood-drinking gypsies. pioneer in Austro-Hungarian cabaret, Kurt's singing, dancing, and puppeteering skills were quite the hit at local pubs. Addicted to the adoration of swooning audiences, he performed in pungent, smoke-filled rooms and succumbed to emphysema. With this ring, I promise to love you forever, to hold you safe in my hands and in my heart. May this ring serve as a symbol my devotion to you. With this ring, I do promise to love you forever. To be honest, loyal, and to respect the bond we have created. May this ring be a symbol of my commitment to you. As the rings have no end, so your love should have no end. And so they have promised their affection, sincerity, and fidelity. Let us finalize their union. Do you have uh, a love to be your wedded wife? Do you promise to love her, to honor and cherish her in joy and in sorrow? in sickness and in health, and to be to her in all things a good and faithful husband, as long as you both shall live. I do. And do you, Lauren, take Eric to be your wedded husband, to love him, to honor and comfort him, to keep him forsaking all others, and to be to him in all things a good and faithful wife, so long as you both shall live. Do you understand?
understand that you cannot escape each other. I do. It's raining over your empire in the paradise you've always dreamed. Has it been a prison even colder and darker than mine? You may have ruined me. But I feel like I got the better of you. Am I right? Elizabeth. Missed me, I see. Shut up, you scoundrel. Harlot. Fiend. Temptress. Oh, Papa. Ouch, that one hurts. Painful, but true. Biting words for a woman without any phosphorus. Oh, well, I suppose we'll have to make an arrangement about that now, won't we? I would love nothing more than to negotiate with you right here and now. Oh, how I've missed that filthy mouth of yours. What do you suppose that is? <sighs> Another incompetent malfunction, no doubt. That's fine. <clears throat> Cocktail sauce. <laughs> so, that's, it's a, we have. All right, it's not even. No. Thank you. No, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> all right, Maddie. Um, this one. All right. This is from Aunt Sandy. I 
Um, I am so sorry about the present. You don't have to apologize. I, I don't know what happened. Hey, I can't always change the way things happen. Only the way you experience them. You know who told me that? You did. Get in the coats! So we can't read our thoughts! Alright, listen up. That little shit has declared war and we are not going down without a fight. You just ruined that nap. This is the layout of the restaurant. Because of his vantage point, we need to flank him from the north in order to take him out. Yes, sir, Captain Cedric, sir! The closer we get to him, the easier of a target we become. Okay, when did you have time to draw all these? We can't give him any clout that he's the one that shot at us first. I assume it's a one-shot kill, so we can't take that chance. I need the element of surprise. That shitty bag of dicks won't know what hit him. Shitty bag of dicks? That's a kid you're talking about. A kid who's playing an innocent imaginary game. Game? You think this is a fucking game? Yes! That's exactly what this is. Are you listen to me, you little fuck. Our imaginary lives are on the line. And if you back down now, then that kid, for the rest of today, will think that he's cooler than me. And as a 21-year-old adult with a job and a respectably hot girlfriend, I cannot have that on my conscience. Brother Miller is already on board. Hell yeah. So, can you help us win this battle? Or not? No. What, are you retarded? I'll... I'll pay for your food? All right, fine. Okay. Gentlemen. Your guns are your hands. Okay, we need to create a diversion or we're stuck. Ideas? I'll risk my life for the good of the platoon. You're a brave man, Private Miller. When all is said and done, you're gonna summon my hash browns. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ah! Go, go, go! War is hell. Okay, will you give me a break? This is the dumbest thing ever. They just killed Eric. Who's they? It's one kid. But we can't let this kid win. All right, he doesn't have to win. We don't have to play. We could be eating our food right now like adults. But we, we can't just eat No buts. Food. No buts, okay? This quote-unquote battle, it's bullshit. All right, we're messing with a child. This means nothing in the long run of your life. All right, do you understand me? Yeah, I guess. Good. We're gonna kill this fucker. I knew you had it in you. Okay, here's the plan. That is the perfect plan. <laughs> <laughs>